Hello, and welcome to Take Heart with me, Tony Hart. Um, hi, how you doing? All right. Greetings, hearty salutations. I almost forgot. Um, yeah, I haven't done many, um, I haven't done any art videos lately simply because I haven't felt like it. <laughs> I haven't felt too great, really. But I've also had the monopod kind of sticking out and getting in the way of painting. Um, I like to step back and, and I've got this like camera in front of where I'm standing. So I think anything that I'll record for the camera now will be quite small and quite quick. And um, the uh, more intricate paintings that I do will will be just um, stills. Um, and then I can basically talk you through the stills, which is kind of what I do in part anyway. Yes. But hey, how are you? Are you good? Yeah. I've got a good cup of coffee here. I'll tell you what, I can't hone proper coffee myself. I'm not a very good... Uh, coffee connoisseur so I just buy the cheapest crappiest coffee I can <laughs> and uh, instant coffee and uh, make it pretty strong and um, I seem to be addicted to that so yes yeah, proper trashy but hey maybe if I went to Italy I'd uh, experience the real the real deal they say that even the good coffee isn't good here but uh, I digress it's funny how you digress on purpose like that, isn't it? It's kind of like, a, it's a, definitely a psychological thing. You digress because you're frightened of uh, tackling the the thing that you're supposed to be, uh, you're supposed to be conveying. Yeah, well, I've been doing this painting, insert, <laughs> insert a painting here. This is a, I wanted to do some ravens just on black and white canvas uh, I had some black canvases that I'd pre-prepared and the raven on its own really didn't kind of work it needed something else and I wanted to this to kind of have like a folk art surreal um, kind of style so I added the marionette I was struggling for the word marionette and I had to pause my recording to think of what it was for some reason. My brain isn't working too well. I also opened the window so you might hear some birdie noises, which is kind of in keeping with the uh, the painting, uh, paintings. So you've got the, yeah, you've got the Blade Runner eye here, um, which is my interpretation of the reflection in the eye in the film Blade Runner but it's not the same really you don't actually get this view but it's kind of just inspired by you know uh, which is in the pointillism style and also you've got the eye it's very prominent in this other painting that I've done which has evolved into yeah I mean, it's, it's, it's not finished. I'll show you the, the thing as it is at the moment. It's all, I'd say it's 90% there. I just need to make the black ground a little less prominent. Um, maybe add some reflection on the ocean and it will be, it will be, it'll be right. There is a local exhibition in town soon, like a joint exhibition. I'm not sure if I'm going to enter it or not, because I don't want to sell anything for one thing. I mean... I think the idea is for people to try and sell art, oh, but I don't want to sell anything. And they sort of, some people offer me a ridiculous amount of money, you know, I could stick like a thousand quid on these or something. But even then, I'm like, I don't really want to let that go. I'm never going to paint it this way again, you know. So, yeah, I'm thinking about that. Um, prints are definitely the way to go moving forward. Uh, producing prints from the artwork. And selling those and keeping the originals uh, just I mean most people do um, G clay prints which are basically a posh inkjet print uh, with pigmented inks so they they archival they last a hell of a long time as as you know as it's not the same as your 
your standard printer at home, but it works the same way. They're printed the same way. It's just the actual ink is different. So I may get some of those made up because they're easy. Otherwise, it's uh, it's a case of screen printing or whatever, which I'm not sure would work too great with what I have here. Um, but we'll see. But anyway, yeah, there's that local exhibition. If I fancy it, um, it'd be quite good to do an exhibition of eyes, wouldn't it? Just you've got the uh, the running theme between the paintings can be eyes. You've got the eye really prominent in this one with the raven, and uh, of course, yeah, the Blade Runner eye. This is all to do with my storybook, which is kind of set in a yeah, a kind of like dystopian future. Blah blah blah, but a silly one, not a not a depressing one, a silly one. <laughs> um, yeah, so this painting is, is is a dream sequence. I've probably been well, I, I have been watching a lot of David Lynch lately, so and dream sequences are always a very prominent thing in in his work. So I guess that's where that came from. And you can see, I guess the guy, I mean my. My detective in my story is kind of coopery, isn't he? He looks a little bit coopery from Twin Peaks. And there you go. So here's that's that's an update. Um, I will, if I do any more painting videos, actually physically painting in front of the camera, they will be small. They will be quick. Um, and I may even sell them for charity. Um, so do them with that in mind, and then if anyone wants to donate going forward to help keep me in paint brushes and such, then that's all good. But you know, I mean, that's long off into the future. But uh, it's, it's doable. That is something that I could, I could aspire to. Anyway, Toodle Pip, adios. There's a cat by my feet staring at me. Toodle Pip, I'll catch up with you next time.